Say Kev. My name Kev. All right. Where you from, bro? I'm from Southwest Philly, man. Okay. And uh, how old are you? I'm 45. 45. How long you uh been out here? I've been out here about 20, 23 years. Oh, okay. So you been out here for a while, huh? Uh, who was your mom? My grandmother. Your grandmother? Okay. And your parents, um, where was they at? My, uh, my dad passed away and my mom suffered from a nervous breakdown. Oh, wow. So she was in the uh, institution. Okay. Um, how did your father pass away? Uh, she was in the All right. And I'm, I'm uh, sorry to hear that. I know, you know, I lost my mom, so I know what that's like. That, that don't feel good. How old were you when that happened? Right. Too young to remember. Young. No, but uh, you're right though. And right. um, did you play any sports or anything when you was young? Yeah, um, right. I actually I played right. basketball, right. football, right. and I boxed. Oh, okay. And going back to ninth, tenth grade, what would, who were you? Tell me who you were. Who you was know. that? Yep. Name yeah, you know ninth, tenth grade, oh, 15, wow. 16 years old. Listen, who was you? I was definitely that um, that kid that uh, that was popular in school. Okay. You know, I got a lot of girls. You know, I just neat, neat and nice. I mean, a, you know, as, as the times went, I was I was one of them popular kids. Yeah. Uh, I had a lot of girls. Um, my grades slipped from time to time, but uh, I made, I graduated. Oh, you did? Yeah. I Congratulations, man. That's a big deal. That's a big deal coming from where we come from, man, to graduate. To be honest with you, it is, but I didn't do it for myself. I did it for my grandmother. You know, I just felt like, you know, she deserved that. Yeah, good shit. She worked hard. 
Yeah, great shit. You know, doing that to accomplish that, no matter what it is, you know, that's that's a big deal. Um, congratulations. Thank you. What did you do after school? Um, after I, after I um, graduated high school, I actually uh, hit the streets real young, man. I started selling drugs, started yeah. robbing drug dealers. Um, I never really got into the work field. You know what I'm saying? It was like I found a way of found easy money. And I, I ran with that. Like the easy money, sticking people up, man. Yeah. Doing home invasion and stuff like that. Have you ever uh, spent any time in the penitentiary? Yes, actually, I did. I did 11 years. 11 years. Right. For shooting. 11 years on the 6 to 12. Where'd you do your time at? At Albion. Okay. SCI Albion. Yep. Yeah, I did 17 myself, so I, uh, I know that whole, whole struggle and how nasty that shit is. Very, very nasty. So how long did you, how long ago did you come home? Um, I've been home since 2003. Oh, okay, so you no, got nice, nice. 2006. Damn, almost 20 years home. Yeah, yeah, no. That's good. Um. So when, at what age did, did drugs come into the picture for you? Um, I'm gonna take it way back. I can say probably about, I'm feeling about 12 or 13. Okay. 12, 13. And uh, do you remember what was the reason why you started? Yeah, that pressure. Ear pressure? Ear pressure. Can you talk about that a little bit, please? Because I, I don't think, I interview a lot of people and speak to a lot of people. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a recovering addict myself. Okay. And peer pressure does not get spoke on enough, I feel like. Well, I feel like people think that because we're popular, because we're, we sort of stand up for ourselves, that we're not subjectable to peer pressure. Hmm. I'm glad you asked that question. Um, you know, growing up, going to high school with my friends, they would smoke weed, mm -hmm. you know, and if we weren't smoking weed, we weren't even really yeah. 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 doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. And at first I held out for a very long time. Okay. I um, honestly didn't want to smoke weed or cigarettes or anything like that. But then again, I, I, I fell victim to Temptation. Yep. As as I think more of us do than not. Yeah. You know. It's, it's true. Um. So where are you uh where are you staying at now? You you staying out here in the street? Yeah. How long have you been homeless? Yeah. Say it again. How long have you been homeless? Oh, right now. This time I've been homeless. Uh, about like five months. 12.30. And um, so you just sort of crashed wherever you crashed? Yep. Where you sleep at last night? Last night I didn't sleep. I stayed up all night until the train started running again. Yep. Down the train, down the train, down the train. Do you have any questions for me, brother? Um, nothing to do with me. I just want to hold that. You know, the powers that be come together and do something for our homeless. Get some of our people off the street, white, black, man. It don't matter because every homeless person is not a scumbag. And I want to say that again. Yeah, every homeless person is not a scumbag. Very hard. So that, that's a big reason of why I do this, to, in hopes of humanizing us addicts and us that suffer from mental health and homelessness, just to let us know we're, we're still good people, man. We just we just got a little bit of shit to deal with, you know. We and we all sin. We just do it differently. 
No, that's all. Yeah. Well, I thank you, brother. Uh, I appreciate you. And, uh, I thank you very much. All right, man. Thank you, man. Have a good one. I, I thank you for that. Yeah, I'm